Uh, greetings Aquarius and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well and let's dive right in and see what I have for you for this timeless reading for Aquarius, a sun, moon, and rising. And thank you spirit guides for overseeing this reading for Aquarius. Uh, wow, and this is what I have for you. What came right out at the top is um, a sense of vision, putting out an energy. Where is it going to go? Uh, it's taking something out there. Um, waiting for your ships to come in. You might have uh, put out an application recently, uh, um, an application perhaps of, on a visa or a passport, uh, or putting out a service that you're putting out into the world and waiting to see what will come back. But you know you have this vision to travel, to explore, to expand at this time. And energetically, you're going to move toward that Aquarius with a success uh, because you, it will lead you to the Ten of Cups, to the sense of whatever bliss is for each one of you Aquarius. That is a unique a vision we each have in our life of what is our fulfillment. What is our bliss? What is really our true purpose here? And in this card, it says your vision that you're putting out is toward uh, fulfillment within your relationships, within the way you express your love to others, uh, the way you give and receive love, and the way that you endure, so to speak, these troubling times in your life of storms and upheavals and collapse because you have always trusted that the rainbow was here for you. A happy home, happy children, a happy relationship, a lot of procreation, um, celebration, creation, and a happiness that endures uh, deeper than just the superficial, but is that deep inner happiness because we're connected to our source. And our vision knows that we can put whatever out there because we have the confidence of that um, rainbow guiding us through whatever uh, journey we have to take toward our true uh, connection. And uh, at the foundation is the Six of Cups. Well, this is a beautiful Six of Cups. You feel that tenderness and love uh, between these two. There's innocence here. And there's also um, innocence in the Ten of Cups. You see uh, these two cups and these two uh, children. There is this feeling of healing, um, this inner child wound because of the rainbow. You've gone through the storm. You're recognizing that at this time, Aquarius, uh, that you have endured. Um, a lot. There might have been a, some very significant wounding that happened in childhood that was very traumatic. And that led you to be almost on your own, an adventurer, having to make your way through the world. And uh, then you're feeling that through all of this venturing out and making good decisions and using your uh, innate intuition, uh, that you come into a time where you're tapping back into the deepest roots of your uh, past and pulling all of that, like weaving all of those threads of childhood, of relationships, of um, our baby girlfriends, of our family members, of those caregivers throughout our time, our peers. Um, the first um, relationships we had sexually with others. Uh, these hurts, these difficulties, but that somehow you're seeing things are coming full circle at this time. And it's bringing up innocence, a feeling of uh, that I am no longer ashamed, I'm no longer guilty, I'm innocent. And that innocence brings in this sweetness that is uh, more than happiness, more than relationships, because it's that uh, feeling of inner joining with the past, present, and future and coming together into this, um, what we can say, the eternal always, uh, this moment. And there's something that could be coming back from your past 
that you know is at the root of this, uh, whatever it is you're going after, your new vision, this purpose. And you have <clears throat> done a lot of work in the recent past on getting information, learning a new way of thinking about your past, maybe doing inner child healing, where you had to do some work like say with a cognitive behavioral therapy where you're really retraining um, your mind, your understanding of how uh, your emotions trigger certain um, behaviors, certain reactions um, that can be like sharp tongued, uh, cruel words, uh, uh, not being sensitive to others, but you're learning. That's what you were learning in the past, Aquarius. Um, you're the, a great communicator. You're an air sign. You have a lot of intelligence. And you have been, in a new way recently, learning about that, learning how to speak your truth in a way that's going to definitely bring you happiness and bliss. And your <clears throat> a crown is saying the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you got the a Ten of Cups and now the Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. This is uh, the happiness that comes from a life well lived in all dimensions, all domains. Uh, there are many um, umbrellas of support that you have been uh, working toward to receive this rainbow of happiness. But your crown is saying the higher powers are wanting you to know also that there is this a legacy of wealth, of inheritance, a family uh, lineage, something that dates way, way, way back to your ancestors. And now it's coming to fruition in you, Aquarius, in your own unique way. You're creating this legacy. And the legacy also comes with a vision of how to tend uh, to uh, the things you really care about, what you're really uh, at the deepest root, where your playful, innocent, childlike delight, passion, joy. Um, and that is coming because you are bringing in a true legacy and showing yourself and the world through this sense of just unmerited grace at some point that you have receiving this because you have worked hard in remembering who you truly are, where you've truly come from. And now you can nurture uh, your everything that is tender and loving toward you and you toward that. Uh, the world itself, this vision you're taking out is infused with that Ten of Pentacles energy, with this dynasty that you're moving toward at the crown that you know you're ready to receive. Um, generational wealth, a wealth that has the sense of the, the dogs, that loyalty to tradition, um, sharing, uh, having to share money with family within others, land, property, uh, uh, buildings, trust, um, legacies in the sense of established uh, money that is going to move toward and bring in more than financial wealth, but bliss, happiness, uh, creativity, imagination. <clears throat> and the Hierophant is coming um, with this moment as you come into this reading the hierophant is here in the present raising the hand up as above so below as within so without this commitment this enlightenment uh, this initiation into a higher realm because when you have the two tens ten ten uh, that is uh, a, an amazing um, opening uh, to the divine source. And it's saying that you are making magic by aligning, tapping in 
to those higher powers that manifest in this physical world as wealth, prosperity, a family lineage, um, sharing with others, happy home, happy family, happy community, uh, happy world. And you're going to uh, be receiving the keys to the kingdom. And that is because you're tapping in, whether you're tapping into a spiritual uh, teacher, someone who is going to help you communicate these visions you're having uh, that we're bringing in this bliss, this prosperity, this uh, mental quickness and understanding. This is a card of Taurus. But you're being initiated. You're getting this gift of a new commitment to God, to a spiritual tradition, to a journey. You're going to do that by the book now. Uh, take up a spiritual practice. And this card rules over marriage, but it, it's not that it's only the physical marriage. It's, it's the marriage of, uh, of that inner union with God, the sacred marriage that you're being initiated into at this time, Aquarius. And the Seven of Cups is coming because it's you're seeing um, whatever this vision is, you have a lot of choices at this moment. And each one of these choices can lead to the virtues or to vices, to the seven deadly sins or to uh, illumination. You have a lot of choices. But you see, um, <clears throat> these choices could be of success, of the devil, of jewels, of property, of castles, of seduction. But there is a central cup that is the mysterious veiled figure underneath. And that is uh, what we're moving toward, that mystery. What is that? Uh, that energy within us that connects us to our eternal source that we are eternal beings having this uh, encounter in the physical form and the star is the environment well that's you Aquarius you're shining in your environment on others pouring the water of a nourishment of the spiritual realm into the physical domain with a lot of abundance and inspiration and healing. You could be shining now um, out into that environment or the environment around you could be shining back on you with hope, with a uh, radiance. And <clears throat> your hope and fear is strength that you will have that ability now to tame your inner beast, <laughs> Aquarius. Uh, to understand yourself through self-love and self-calibration. You know, this is to say that you've got the, the star, that's Aquarius, and now you have Leo, that's, um, <clears throat> strength is Leo. And Leo and Aquarius are mirror signs. They mirror each other. And so it's saying you're coming now to a time where the environment uh, mirrors you, Aquarius, by showing you in a mirror how you shine, how you inspire, how just your energy alone and by the grace, unmerited grace, is shining out as a gift. And that is your purpose. That's your destiny. And you've got to know that you've got the strength and courage and to go uh, through whatever this is. Um, that you have been going through because I've been doing your readings for a year now, Aquarius, and you're coming out of a time of a dark night of the soul, a stormy time where now the rainbow is shining on you. And you're learning to calibrate when to ferociously go out toward uh, defending yourself or standing up for your truth and when to calibrate inward and to um, blend and understand and harmonize those forces within you. And your advice is if there's something that is no longer serving you at this time, Aquarius, when this uh, comes upon you, 
You see the moon has been eclipsed here. Something is um, eclipsing the light of the sun, so you're needing to move into a whole new a destiny. And that destiny is going to lead you um, toward what was really left behind in the past, something now you're picking up this thread of innocence. And renewal is coming. And it's coming with a, an amazing um, legacy of wealth, but also of something you're creating will last beyond you and bring others a satisfaction. But the point is that you will be fulfilled. You will feel in love with your life and in love with those around you. And it will come because of your commitment to this higher trajectory, to your higher vibrational field. And the Hierophant is witnessing that and helping to initiate you into uh, this uh, decision uh, to really be the star, to shine. And to use your strength as your hope and your fear that is available for you. And you will be moving towards your true destiny now. All the doors are open for you. And it could be a passionate journey with the red cloak and you're traveling into the dark, into the unknown. But it's going to come with <clears throat> another card of moving on, Aquarius. You're moving toward uh, these, uh, away from these troubled waters. You're taking your inner child. You're doing that inner child healing and now you're moving on. You know you have everything you need. And mentally, this is a card of Aquarius. You're uh, moving toward uh, what you know is going to lead you to uh, the star. And the star is shining for you, guiding you to this new destiny. And it's coming as you rest right now and renew and pray and get these downloads. It's time, Aquarius, for you to uh, totally trust that it's happening for you right now and always will be because you're resting and tapping into your deepest uh, alignment with source. You're laying down uh, the weapons of uh, the world and aligning with meditation to know uh, where it is that you need to go, how you're going, how you're trusting, and how you're going to shine and inspire in the dark, in the darkest of times. But uh, that is going to bring you the 10, 10, this fulfillment of your true destiny, of your legacy, and of those deep, loving connections all around you. Well, it was just a privilege, Aquarius, to do this timeless reading for you. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, I would if I was able to subscribe to my own channel because this is a powerful reading and so many major arcana and you showed up in your own reading, which is very powerful at this time. And so it is, Aquarius, and uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me comments. And wherever you are in the world, you're putting out this vision, and something is coming back to you. And let me know, Aquarius, what is that? I'd love to hear. And sending you my love wherever you are, I'd love to know. Bye-bye.